Do you have a wobbly toilet? It's annoying and it can cause a water leak and cause damage. Underneath here, if you have the nut as tight as you can safely go and the toilet's still wobbling, you have an uneven floor surface and I'm going to show you how to correct that quickly. Now you only want to do this if you're convinced the wax ring is still intact and there are no leaks. If it's just wobbling, this is what you do. Now, don't buy wood shims. Wood shims are sold in the building construction department. Because it's made of wood, you don't want to use it at a toilet because of the high moisture content. It will slowly rot and decay over time. So don't use that. Instead of wood, you want to use plastic shims. Where are you going to find plastic shims? They're sold in the plumbing department. That's right. In the plumbing department, you'll have an assortment of plastic shims. That's what you're going to use to stop the wobble on your toilets and your pedestal sinks. This one is particularly soft and flexible, which is kind of nice. Just rigid enough to take that wobble out. It also has the grooves. You don't have to attach it to the subfloor. You're just going to tap them in and let it do its job. So on this one, rocking from front to back, I want to fill in this, this low spot in the front. I know there's concrete under here, so there's no soft spot in the wood, but the porcelain tile uh, must have a low spot in the front. So we're going to take a couple shims. Okay, with those shims safely in place, if you want, you can finish with a nice bead of caulk and give it a finished look. That movement has completely stopped. There is no wobbling to the front or back. Those shims should last for years. Plastic shims, it's a quick way to take the wobble out of your toilets. Hey, I know you can do this yourself.